guys and welcome to my channel. I am so glad to be back with you guys. It's been a uh, kind of a rough going kind of to get back into the swing of vlogging again. So this week I'm going to give it my very best. Um, yeah, today is a work day and I am dressed for work. Um, I will show you my outfit if I can get to the mirror. <laughs> I thought I would start today's vlog out by saying howdy. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a great day or great morning or will have a good day whenever you're watching this. Um, my name is Jody, and I am thriving with stage four metastatic breast cancer. And if you'd like to catch up on my story, as always, I will drop a link uh, at the end of the video. You can click on that and you can watch until your heart's content and you can learn all about my cancer journey but today it's not about cancer it is about my filming room i'm so excited i didn't want to show it to you until i have it all like done but then i thought wait a minute a lot of you guys helped me decorate my house you guys are amazing i mean you guys do this some of you do this for a living your designer um uh, interior designers and I would get stuck like oh my gosh I don't know where to put this big clock or where should I do this and I got comments back saying oh I would put it over here I would put it there and I did just that and then I looked around and I thought wow <laughs> these people really know what they're talking about <laughs> so I figured I would do the exact same with my filming room okay um, I don't know if you guys remember before it was separated it was in two spots half of it was for uh my previous job as a video relay interpreter and had like a gray background and then i had a camera and a stool and anyway not so pretty um well now all of that is gone and oh and then the other half of the room was my too cute for cancer uh clothes um filming stuff lighting um all the stuff that I use to film for my social media. All right. Well, now I'm very happy that I have the whole room now dedicated to my uh, to my brand, Too Cute for Cancer. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, it is Too Cute for Cancer. Just go. You'll find me, and that's where I film a lot. I show a lot more um, of my everyday stuff. I share my family on that channel. I share my clothes, um, clothing reels, what I eat, things like that. Just kind of fun stuff. Anyway, I digress. Back to the subject. So anyway, my Too Cute for Cancer, or my brand, or my social media room, let's just call it a social media room, um, is going to house all of my equipment, which usually gets shoved in one room or the other every time I film. I have to take it and move it into the next room. Well, now that I have this room open, I can set it up in here and I don't have to keep moving it from room to room to hide it. But anyway, I'm going to show you the before and um, kind of give you the what my needs are for the room, what the goal of the room is, and how I will be using it. And I would love it if you guys could give me your feedback in the comments. Tell me what you would do, how you would do it, if you have any good places to buy things, um, sh please do share. I appreciate it all. And I definitely appreciate you guys' opinion because I mean, I have listened to you guys more than I have listened to sometimes my own family members. It is right. It is true. So I think that perspective of not being really close, being more far off, um, and you can see the whole picture, really is a good thing in friendship. So my YouTube friends, let me turn you around and show you what I got going on here. So here it is. Here's the door. And welcome to my media room. All right. So this is it so far. It just has stuff just kind of put everywhere. This is the layout of the ceiling. I love the architecture of this room with the kind of sloped ceilings. I love it. And I love the window. I wish there was a window seat right there. That would be so incredibly cool, but it 
doesn't have one, but it could have one. You never know. I could put one in. Fan is up there. Anyway, so here is what it is so far. I'm just going to take you wall by wall. This wall, corner, window, all against that wall. Um, that corner has one window there, but I do have some wall space over here that can be used. And then on this wall here is all closet space. Um, uh, that light out of the way. Um, you know, all storage and closets and stuff like that. But, and I have drawers all down at the bottom. And then this wall here has a little bit of space, I guess. Not too much. And then, of course, there is the door. And then this wall at this angle. Let me just step back and see if I don't kill myself. There we go. Anyway, this wall is, I guess, the most usable space, um, you know, for backgrounds and things like that. And, yeah. So, there you have it. Let me turn back around here and move back out. Okay, so there it is. There is my my room at a glance. All right, let me turn you back around. Okay, so there it was. There is the room as it is right now. It was freshly painted, but just painted white um, because I was in time crunch, and I think the room was like bright pink or something when we first moved in, so it was like, gotta go. And it wasn't like a pretty pink. It was like an ugh pink, and it was really old. So anyway, so that is gone, so we just painted it white just to get it done. I would love to do more carpeting, not carpeting, flooring in here, but at the moment, I really just don't have uh, the funds. Well, I have the funds, but I don't have the funds that I want to use for that. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, so I have a white rug down, but I can buy another rug. I can, you know, I can do whatever you guys suggest. All right, so now the goal for this room, this is what I need. These racks here, let me show you. This stuff here is all, um, not all of it, most of it is gifted items from different brands. And so is the stuff here is gifted items. All right, my clothes that I wear that are mine, that I purchase and everything, are in, in the closet. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, I keep them. I have to keep them separate because I have to log them, and then I have links that go to them. I have to, you know, uh, wear them, link them, uh, put them out in some kind of form, like in content, and then I can mark them off the list. And when the link expires, I can then take them off the the rack, and I usually either gift them to uh, the church or to there's a ministry that um, helps young women and older women uh, get into the workforce and they teach them job training, interviewing and all that. Anyway, they're always looking for professional type clothing and I have a lot of that so I donate to them. So anyway, after it gets logged, it gets all that kind of stuff, then it gets donated or I keep some of my favorite pieces um, and then I put them in the closet behind me. All right, so that is what the racks are for. And I, my goal is I want to be able to, number one, I have to be able to film clothing in here. So I need to like have a good background for filming. So there's not like anything distractive. Hopefully it'll look good. I want something pretty but not busy because the whole focus of the background is to focus on the clothes that you're showing, not your decorations. So that is number one, okay? Um, the second thing is, I would like to use the racks of clothing. I Right now, they're just thrown on there. I have not, I'm so far behind you guys, it's not even funny. I haven't, I just got two things, bags of clothing, and I have not even taken the tags off. I haven't logged them, haven't tried them on, nothing. I'm gonna do that in this vlog. But um, they're just shoved over there. So what I'd like to do is have the racks that have the gifted clothing on them um, to be pr 
you know, arranged in a pretty manner, in a colorful or whatever, you know, just whatever. Like if it's fall theme, have the fall items out in a nice colorful way or whatever. And then have, that can be part of my uh, background, no problem. Um, yeah, so that is what the racks are for. So kind of a twofold place to put them, place to film them, place to show them. Okay, and now, now another thing is, uh, the shoes. <laughs> ah, my gifted shoes are all down here. All of these are gifted shoes. My um, my shoes are in the other room in my bedroom in the closet in there. So I try not to mix them because my own shoes are old and crappy looking to be honest and they don't really deserve to can't be on camera. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that. And I need a place to to show those off as well. All right, then on top of that, I have my lighting, um, my ring light over here, my mirror. I have this mirror. I don't know if you guys can see that mirror over here. And then this right here, I just bought. Um, I thought I could put shoes, purses, um, make that, you know, into something cool. Um, yeah, and then in the closet, I have, oh my goodness gracious, I have tons more of my stands and light, light bulbs, extra light bulbs for um, cameras and what you have it, what you have it. So anyway, and then, oh, and I have this white carpet. That has not been washed, but it goes in the washing machine and it washes up really nice. But it's not really big enough for the room. But, okay. Let me turn you back around. I apologize for that. Okay, so there, there you have it. There is kind of my goals. Uh, that's what I need the, to use the room for. I need, I think I need a bigger mirror because that one's kind of skinny and little. Um, I need a better rug. And do I need to paint the walls or keep them white? That's a question for you guys. Um, and my old work desk, this right here, this is just my work chair and my work desk. Um, do I need to keep that? Do I need to get rid of it? I don't know, but it's there. So I'm not really sure. All right, <sighs> there you have it. There's the room, there's the need, and now give me your, give me your wise opinion. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then I got to go to work, and I will catch you guys in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. Today is a new day. <laughs> Today is actually Tuesday. I'm sorry I didn't say goodnight last night. Um, I got busy. I worked a little bit later than normal, and when I got home, I just crashed. I've been doing a lot of uh, jobs that require a lot of talking, voicing, um, and voicing if you if you don't know how ASL uh, interpreting works, American Sign Language works, is voicing is when the deaf person is signing and I'm speaking for them. So it's called voicing. So I have been doing a lot of voicing and now my voice is going out it's like like telling me like hello calm it down a little bit Jody so anyway um, I thought that I would update you really quickly on uh, some of the information that I found out about the Hoxie treatments um, apparently not all hoxy tonics um, are created equal. I've been kind of doing a deep dive and um, yeah, some of them have a different combination of different medications and stuff or different herbs and spices, not spices, but you know, uh, ingredients. Where's the words, Jody? Come on, you can do it. So anyway, um, I am setting up a Zoom call with the clinic that is in Tijuana, 
or it's it's on the border of um, San Diego and uh, in Mexico. So anyway, I am trying to get a Zoom appointment so I can get more information directly from their um, from their doctors and all that and what have you. So as soon as I get that information, I will um, I will update you guys. But I'm still. I mean, the verdict is out. I'm feeling hopeful because I really want to be prepared. Um, I know what the statistics are. And I know that, you know, any day, any moment, uh, my cancer could start, uh, come back and start spreading. So I want to head it off at the pass, get my body, any hidden cells that are in there, anything, I want to deal with them now and not before it is too late. Um, anyway, and also, I was reading some testimonials about this, and uh, there are people, they're just like, this tonic, this um, creation, this medication, is, it made them feel great. Gave them energy, their immune system was stronger, um, anemia went away, you know, just, all of the all of the different stuff that as cancer survivors or cancer sufferers thrivers whatever you want to call us warriors um, have to go through you know it kind of deals with checks all the different boxes so anyway that was my update on that now um, this morning was a little bit crazy I <laughs> I was mapped out. I get my assignment usually the night before, sometimes the morning of, but um, I got my assignment the night before, so I planned out my clothes, I laid them all out, and was ready to go, and then this morning I woke up, and they said, oops, we're going to pull you from that assignment, and we need to send you to court. So I'm like, okay, no worries, not a problem. I'll change my clothes. So I had to go through all my clothes and try to figure out something different to wear because what I had planned um, matched the assignment that I was going to. It didn't match court attire. So anyway, I had to hurry up and um, <laughs> come up with a new um, outfit. And I did, of course. <laughs> um, I am going to be filming all my outfits that I wore this week and that will be somewhere in this video. I did it on a reel. I don't know if you guys caught it or not, but um, someone said, oh, you know, I want you to do it. Can you do it on the channel? I was like, sure, no problem. They don't have Instagram, so I understand that. I have like two different uh, viewers. Some of you follow me on both. Thank you for that, but then others, um, only follow me on Instagram, some only follow me on fa Facebook, and then on YouTube. So anyway, I am going to do that at the end of the week, and you can see some of the really cute outfits, number one, that I've been gifted, and I will tell you where they were from, and any discount codes that I have, and the outfits that I put together, I've been having a lot of fun. I haven't worked out in the public for a very long time, so, um... Yeah, choosing clothes and, you know, dressing up every day and all that. It's been a lot of fun. And I think it's been really good for my, um, for my psyche, <laughs> for my spirit, my soul, and my body, too. So anyway, all right. Well, I am off to the next job. And I will try to pick up the camera uh, when I'm done and back again. And I think... What I want to do tonight is do a un-get ready with me because I want to do the get ready with me too, but that might have to wait for the next vlog. Um, the reason I want to do the un-get ready with me is because I have some new products that I've been using for the last couple months and um, I love them. Oh my gosh, my face has been like... I feel like I, like right now, I'm really tired, so don't judge me, <laughs> but I feel like I reversed 10 years on my face. 
Um, so I'm super excited just to share that little bit with you guys. So that'll be tonight. But right now, better get going. See you guys in a bit. Hi guys, and I am off work and I am home. Yay. <sighs> Feels good to get a good day of work in and be home. So, all right, well, when I got home, I was faced with a bunch of packages at my door. I don't want to move you around too much. You are balanced on, <laughs> it's funny, I wish I could show it to you. You guys are balanced on my, um, you know, the boxes that your hair color comes in, the, um, it's Nutrice Garnier boxes. <laughs> so I have them stacked on top of each other and then my, uh, my stand, my camera stand on top of that so I could have my hands free. So yes, I know I've got to get the stand thing situated. I have big ones, little ones, I have it. It's just when I'm ready to film, I just don't feel like going to run and get them and set them up. And so I just make, make do. So anyway, now that I've yammered on for too long, <laughs> let me show you what I got. I have not taken them out of the bag yet, so I don't even know what they are. I do know, I, I'm not even sure where they're from. The first one that I did open uh, is from oh, Thrive Cosmetics. So uh, I'm not sure what this is. Let's see, what is it? Oh, okay, Length and Volume Lash liquid lash extensions. I don't know. I think I've heard of this. I'm sure I've heard of it, but I've never used it. So I know they have different uh, formulas out and I think I've used one of them. And I don't know if I was that impressed because I'm not using it now. So I don't know, but we'll give it a try and give it an honest review. So anyway, that I'll show you that. All right, so this we'll put away and we'll use for later. Uh, let's see, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a jacket by the toe. Let's start with this one. Blue. Let's see. It's nice and heavy. Let's see, see, see. Oh, it's cute, it's a jacket. Nice, little cropped jacket. Very, very cute. Let me turn it around so you can kind of see. It's got like shoulder pads in it. I can feel that. It is a cropped jacket. Let's see if we can close this so you can kind of get a better feel of it. Uh, I guess you can't. All right, well, I'll put it on and try it on for you later and you can see it, but anyway, Cute, 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 cute. And it is, it's pretty, I want to say it's pretty, it's not like thick, like winter thick, but it is lined. Um, so that's really nice. And it seems like it's really nice. I mean, this is like a really nice quality. Hmm, I wonder what kind of trail it is. Let's check it out. All right. It is wool, con wool, wool and cotton and a little bit of spandex. Interesting, spandex and wool and cotton. I guess it gives it a little bit of, uh, you know, a tug. Well, that's very nice, I like it. And that is from Express. Thank you to Express for this very generous gift. I will try it on and um, see if anybody likes it. I know, I, I'm pretty sure I will. All right, there's one. And I'll have to steam it and try it on to see if it, you know, looks better. And now, I think they're moving in for their uh, autumn clothing. So I've been noticing more um, jackets and more uh, greens and browns and earth tones are starting to come out. So 
So anyway, and here is, and it's another jacket. All right, nice. This one is a little different. This is more of a, I want to say bomber jacket. Those I know are very, have were really in last season. Oh, that is adorable. All right, you guys aren't going to be able to really tell how cute this is until I either put it on or steam it. But it is really cute. It's got pockets and it's got a band at the bottom. You know, it doesn't just hang straight and it's buttoned up. Oh, no, it's not buttoned up. It's only one button. So it is blazer style. I thought it was more jacket style. But anyway, there you have it. I think that is absolutely beautiful. And I like this color on me. I I love green. Green is one of my favorite colors. But I like I like the more olive khaki green. I think it just suits me better than the bright green. Because I think the bright green kind of washes me out. Anyway, very cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Express Clothing for gifting these be this two beautiful outfits. That was really kind and very sweet. All right, um, I will try them on. I'll steam them, try them on, and then I will put uh, the links, the discount codes, and everything below in the description box in case you guys want to shop at Express. All right, oh, and this video is not sponsored by Express. It's not sponsored by Thrive. It is not sponsored by anybody. This is just, um, they're called PR Guests. You get them, and the brand in ho is in hopes that you will show them to your viewers, which I have, <laughs> and give an honest opinion about them. And so far, I like it. Don't know how they fit. That will be to come, and I don't know how comfort comfortable they are. Uh, but the quality does seem good. So that is my uh, review of Express Cropped Jackets so far. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am going to go and get my dinner started. We are having um, rice, and I think I'm going to do Mandarin chickenless. We don't eat meat, so I think I'm going to do... Uh, probably, maybe, or maybe, oh, you know what, I'm going to have quinoa and some uh, mandarin chickenless pieces and put a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of a spicy sauce, that's what I'm feeling tonight. And I think I have some leftover broccoli in the refrigerator that needs to be eaten, so that will go in and voila, there's dinner. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will catch you in a little bit. Good afternoon, you guys. I am having a day. <laughs> um, I'm at work. This morning was just amazing. I had off until, mm, I think I left like 11.15 or something. And I stayed home. I got ready in case I got called out, you know, for a job. And I cuddled back underneath the covers because I don't know for some reason I am always cold lately it is 95 degrees nope sorry it says 99 degrees <laughs> in the shade so it is not cold out but I've been just like super cold inside the house my husband does keep the air conditioning kind of high but not you know anyway so I was I got to cuddle in bed. I put the covers and cuddles underneath, and I watched um, Hallmark Channel <laughs> for all morning long while I was waiting for my instructions on where to go for my job today. So I had a beautiful morning, but then they sent me to my job. I drove about an hour in traffic. It was horrible, and then I got there. I was just like dying. I was like, oh my gosh. You know, I don't want to be late. I get there and um, went to the wrong place. Yep. So, but it wasn't my fault. The instructions were, were wrong. So, anyway. So then, 
called dispatch. I said, okay, where do you want me to go now? So then they sent me off in the total, complete opposite direction. Uh, so I'm like, okay, back on the freeway again. Here we go. So anyway, I got to just sit in the car for another hour and listen to worship music uh, on my radio, on my car. And then, um, yeah. So anyway, now I have a 10 minute break and I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> So that that is that has been my morning. But um, after work, I get off and I go directly and I pick up my granddaughter Taylor, and we are going to a friend's birthday party. It's a mother daughter party, and the theme is how well do you know your daughter? <laughs> and it's like okay, well I'm filling in for my daughter Erin. Her she is supposed to be with her but they are away on a business trip so um yeah so i'm feeling so we have been practicing uh getting to know each other questions all week long and because we want to win this <laughs> it's just fun it's going to be a fun thing and i don't know what else they're going to have um planned but there'll be food and everything so it's gonna be a lot of fun all our friends from church and stuff but I will be the oldest mom there because <laughs> I am not the mom I'm the grams but anyway all right that should be pretty fun and I already asked if I could take you guys along and they said sure so I was like cool um all right I am gonna get back to work now and I will see you guys tomorrow night or tomorrow night tonight for the party. Catch you later. Welcome to my week. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I've been all over the place. I lost my voice, and so I have been completely off camera because I had nothing to say. Well, actually, I had things to say, but my voice just would not keep up with me. So anyway, yeah, I spent Saturday, Sunday, and Monday flat on my back. Um, my fever spiked to like 102.7, I think my husband said, and I just just felt really lousy. Um, so that happened, <laughs> but I realized now that I am getting out into the work field again, not working from home, I am susceptible to a lot more germs and a lot more stuff, and I'm realizing that my immune system isn't as strong as I thought it was. I thought, wow, my, I'm, I hardly ever get sick. I'm doing great. Well, of course I'm doing great because I'm at home. I'm nourishing myself. I'm sleeping when I need to sleep, taking a break when I need to take a break. Um, when people are, if there's germs or sickness going around, I stay home. I use Instacart. I don't go to the grocery store. And so there was really nothing testing my immune system. So now I am out amongst people. I'm in the courts. I'm in medical. I'm in schools. I'm in job sites. I'm, I'm in the world and, um, shaking people's hands. Um, you know, just like normal people now and this is the first time I've had to be normal uh, whatever that means <laughs> um, and exposed to illness like I am now uh, in a, I mean years probably yeah in years since I've done this you know so anyway 
my body is getting tested in all different directions and it I don't want to say failed but <laughs> it didn't keep up and so I've been sick twice in three weeks so that's kind of um, bothersome I'm worried because I don't want to get fired and I have sick time but um, not until after 90 days so I still have two more month, two months and two days left um, including today before I have sick time paid sick leave um, but I mean it's not like they're saying you got to work sick that's not it at all it's just that I feel like you know I just feel bad because you know I start a new job and then boom I'm sick you know okay I'm better now I'm doing great oh doggone I'm sick you know it's just it's just bothersome and it makes me worried that you know my body's not gonna be able to keep up and all that stuff but then my husband reminded me he's like well actually um, you know like when the kids after summertime's over and you send your kids back to school and everybody gets sick it's because they're around people more and other kids and it's just a normal thing but then everybody kind of gets back into the swing of things they all get take their turns getting sick and then we're back to we're good again so I'm back to school <laughs> and I am adjusting so I'm praying that my body does adjust and I'm doing some things that will keep it um, you know stronger my immunity stronger and I'm gonna start back on the mega dosing of vitamin C the IV drip because I think I'm gonna need it um, yeah so I'm just gonna I'm just going to readjust and um, prioritize my eating a little better, you know, getting some more, um, a lot more greens in, make sure I don't do processed foods, you know, the, the drill, making sure I get my vitamin C down uh, and not skip the days like the oral vitamin C. And then I'm going to add the mega dosing of vitamin, vitamin C probably B12 and D3 whatever 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 they offer whatever the doctor suggests I'm gonna do that so um, so I don't keep getting sick all right well I am at my destination for today's work so I am going to sign off for now give my voice a little bit of a break and I will catch you guys in a little bit. Whoops, and the phone's ringing. Hi guys, and welcome to my, drum roll please, my anniversary. <laughs> Today is our 39th wedding anniversary. I know, long time, right? You didn't even know it was that old, right? <laughs> Just a joke. Anyways, today is my 39th wedding anniversary, and guess what we're doing for it? We are going to dinner with our children. <laughs> oh, you can tell how many years we've been married, right? Back in the beginning, it's like, okay, we just want some time alone without the kids, get a babysitter, then when they get a little older, now we need to get a hotel on a weekend away. Especially the more children you get, the more, you know, you're willing to send them away, right? Anyway. At least we were. So then, as the years progress, and the kids are all moved out, and then all of a sudden you have grandchildren. They're like, oh, could you babysit such and such a night? And you're like, yeah, sure, fine, no problem. Then you realize, oh, darn, it's our wedding anniversary. But we have the grandchildren. It's like, oh, it's fine. We love having the grandbabies. That is just perfectly fine. Well, then, now, it's like, okay, 39, we'll celebrate at 40. <laughs> so... Isn't that sad? It just is. It's life. So now it's my son's birthday was uh, the 29th of August. And our anniversary is the 1st of September. This is when I am filming this. My grandson's birthday was the 30th. So it is like boom, boom, and then us. So anyway, 
Um, so we have been doing, you know, a lot of celebrating, at least trying to make time for it. And we're all in really busy lives and stuff and working. So we thought tonight we would all go together and celebrate my anniversary and Raymond's birthday. <laughs> my sister and my brother-in-law are coming. And of course, my son, his kids, his wife, and then grandpa and I, dad and I. So anyway, it's going to be a good time. We're just we're just going to the old spaghetti factory. I don't know if you guys have one near where you live, but what it is, it's they usually, there's several of them around. They take old historic buildings and then they change them, they renovate them, and they turn them into restaurants. And they always have like cool, like fixtures or furniture. Um, yeah, so it's, it's kind of cool. It's like this where we're going, it used to be a train station. So it is kind of, part of it's decorated with a train like in the middle of it. And there's seating inside and then on the outside there's seating all around. And there's a, like a bar area that has all this beautiful wood and antiques and stuff. So anyway, that is where we are going tonight for our anniversary and my son's birthday. <laughs> But I don't mind. I love spending time with my children, and I love seeing my husband with his his children and his grandchildren. Um, so anyway, this video I was thinking about today, and I don't know why, but every special, like, landmark or birthday or anniversary or anything that I thought I wouldn't get to. You know, it just, it just, I start feeling so emotional. I get overwhelmed with gratitude because just, um, what, just three years ago, I didn't think I was gonna make it to my next anniversary. I thought that we were gonna be done, that was it, you know? So um, I surely didn't think that I would be you know, clear scans and doing well and back to work in the public. You know, I didn't even have that hope in my mind just several years back. And now here we are, we're celebrating 39 years of marriage. I am feeling pretty good other than I've had this uh, cough and sickness thing going around. But I'm at the end of it. I just have the raspy voice left, but my voice is coming back. Anyway, um, yeah, so I've been very emotional all day long <laughs> because just thinking that, gosh, I mean, when we first found out I had cancer, my first thought was, who's going to finish raising my kids? That's because I had, I had kids at home still. And that was my concern. Well, then as the years progressed and I kept, I kept living and, you know, kept going, then I started thinking, um, okay, so I hope I live to see my first grandchild. Voila, six grandchildren later, you know, I've seen all of them. I've had the privilege of getting to know them and love them and live with them and babysit them and just things that I never, ever thought I would ever get to do. And now, marriage. It's like we kind of put our relationship on hold a little bit for things that we always dreamed that we wanted to do after the kids were all gone, you know. And now I am starting to have plans, thinking like, hey, next year, why don't, maybe we could go on that trip we wanted to go, fly overseas and go back to England and show you where... I'm from and you know where all my family lived and all that kind of stuff or um, you know just things that I haven't allowed myself to think about or plan for in in 20 years <laughs> you know so um, yeah but then this other part says oh wait hold on you can't plan because what if what if next year you're not doing good. What if your cancer comes back? What if, what if, what if, what if? I could write a song about what if. It kind of stops you in your tracks, you know, a little bit. And then you start getting fearful. 
and then you start thinking, hmm, that's not good. What shall I do? How shall I feel? Should I plan? Should I have hope? When statistics say I should have been dead years ago, and my number, my days are numbered, then, you know, I stop and I think, and it's like, okay, wait. God is the only, only person, the only human being or entity in this world that knows how many days I have left here on earth. He is the only one, not the doctors, not the statistics, not the statisticians or whatever they call them, none of that. No, nobody knows, only God. And number two, fear is not of God. God, God doesn't give us the, the spirit of fear, but gives us the spirit of sound mind. And you know what, I'm gonna go with it. Fear, get behind me. Sound mind, come along. <laughs> And hope is in that sound mind portion. And I am going to be grateful. I'm going to be thankful for the time I do have. And just know God has it. He has me in his hands. And I don't have to worry about anything beyond that. So that is my takeaway for this week. <laughs> um, you know, don't stop living just because you found out you had cancer. Don't stop living and planning and having a life because you may not have a life after this or after that. You know, just go ahead and plan and just know that God has those days numbered. He has those days right here in his hand. And nothing is going to happen to you. Nothing is going to touch you, even cancer, without his saying, it's okay, it's time. And when he says it is time, then I will be ready. It's okay. I'm not afraid, you know? And now I am not afraid to dream and to plan, you know? Well, I'm going to do that. So anyway, that was my takeaway, my cancer takeaway for being married 39 years. So grateful. So, so grateful. So you guys... I'm going to end the vlog here. I was going to take you on our family dinner, but I think after this, I think I've had enough. I think I might have enough footage so you guys won't be too bored. <laughs> Just don't be afraid and know that no matter what your diagnosis is, it's not the end. So with that, I will sign off. And I will catch you with next week's video. This is Jody signing off.